Okay, so uh, the magic was a little too powerful. It kind of blew a side out the box here, but that's okay. That's all right. Let's see what we got going on. We got ourselves a power cable here. Yes, C13 to your standard 120 volt plug here that we do need in North America. So perfect there. What do we got here? I'm assuming the power supply 100%. Bam! Oh yes, we got a power supply and another double six pin. Two six pins here, so we'll see what kind of power we're going to be dealing with, with whatever minor this may be. The box looks a little goldish, so that's interesting. Let's get this guy out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Open. Open. Alright, so we have... Apollo. iApollo.com Nano FPU inside if you can kind of see that it's kind of hard to see with all that sparkly glitter golden stuff but that's okay let's open this up boom product manual see you later <laughs> i'm just kidding guys you always keep your manual you never know if you have questions we got the antenna at the top just like the etc classic mini v1 that we've seen oh and it says right on the side right here i apollo v1 mini wi-fi a little higher angle stealthy skills here to get this boxing undone and oh my gosh it won't come out guys it won't come out not very stealthy at all oh wait progress progress here it comes here it comes it's out don't drop it we kind of did that last time but that's okay it still worked all right we got a box here let's see what we got top layer off definitely golden oh it's got another red pill this has the red pill as well it does say f so it can mine ethereum just kidding that's for ethernet cable but i do believe this is the v1 this can mine ethereum as well as ethereum classic should be around 300 mega hash at about i don't know 200 and some watts so obviously we're going to see how much power this does utilize at the wall because so far they have all been using more than advertised so here's how we do set up our v1 mini now i like to just go straight into my router as soon as you plug it in and insert the ethernet cable it will pop up in your router you can use something like ip reporter but i just find this the easiest way so once you do find which ip your miner is on simply put that into the top there of your browser and it will bring you to this screen default username and password is both root once you get that in there i highly urge you guys to change that password we're going to come in we're going to go to minor configuration and this is where you set up your pool you are going to have to put in your stratum i have it currently set up it is mining ethereum put in your address here this is would be labeled as your worker name put a period and then whatever you do want to name this miner i have it as v1 mini and you do have to have a password of x or it doesn't seem to want to start running after about five minutes or so it will begin mining yourself some ethereum i haven't been running here for about a day so i have somewhat of a decent estimated average hash rate it does have a low reported hash rate which is nothing near to what this thing hashes at you go to our deck size calculator we're on ethereum right now six gigabytes of ram will get us to about july 7th of 2024 if we look at ethereum classic six gigabytes should give us here about till about february 19th of 2032 so quite a bit of time on ethereum classic because we do know that ethereum is set to move the proof of stake sometime within the end of the year here actually before i even do that it's currently online on flex pool so we can kind of look at its hash rates right now so I can see it is current have an effective of 273 watts and here you can see it's reporting 33 i've seen it report 66 as well as 99 i don't know what's going on there but the current effective is 273 the average with the jazz miner is about 1.8 so we are around the 250 to 300 mega hash range here i'm gonna have to let it sit for a few days so i can get some for sure numbers but we're probably fairly close to 300 mega hash now as for power consumption we are around 246 watts all right so i am going to switch this over to ethereum classic just to see if we can get it mining so i'm going to go over to wooly pooly which is where i currently have the etc mini which is the little mini 140 mega hash thing link is in the description as well for that but i have it solo mining ethereum classic currently 
So I'm just gonna put them all in the same place here. So I'm gonna pick the Canadian Stratum because obviously that's a close liner if I can find it, there we go. So I'm just gonna get rid of this URL here. Now the wallet I'm using, my address and everything is exactly the same. Crypto.com will dictate which coin I'm getting paid in. So I don't have to do nothing else. If you have a separate ETC address, you are gonna have to put that here and then you can change the working name if you want. And again, password would be X. So now I'm just gonna hit save and apply. It's going to do its thing here. Then we should have to wait, you know, anywhere from a couple minutes to potentially five minutes. And then we should begin mining. So I'm going to go into my running overview. Nothing. Go to information. So this is where we'll see elapsed time. So right now we're at one second. I'll give another quick refresh. And it's still at one second. Still at one second. All right. So I'm just going to wait a few more seconds. Well, I'm going to give it some time here and then we'll just let this thing finally boot up. You know what? Let's do one more click. There we go. Four seconds. So it's starting to do its count up here. Get works one. So it's swapping over now. Now, one thing I did notice, I went through every configuration. And unlike the Jazz Miner, where you did have to select either Ethereum or Ethereum Classic to switch algorithms, this doesn't have that anywhere. Trust me, I went through every single option here and I couldn't find it. So hopefully, maybe this just auto switches on its own. I'm going to give it some time though and we will come back. Okay guys, so about nine and a half minutes has gone by. Uh, it started around five minutes, but it's doing nothing but throwing out rejected shares and zero accepted. So I'm starting to think this probably cannot mine Ethereum Classic. If I go to the pool here, Wooly Pooly, all that's here is the normal Apollo. This is the 140 mega hash Apollo V1 Mini, uh, Mini Classic version, I guess. You did see that video potentially in the past. So if you haven't though, check it out. But I am solo mining Ethereum Classic because why? That's where the money is. You know, forget about Ethereum. Ethereum Classic is where it's at currently anyway. But yeah, I am not seeing this V1 Mini popping up at all. So it's not looking like it can swap over to Ethereum Classic. Okay, so it looks like Ethereum Classic is a no-go on this miner. So that actually kind of sucks. I really hope they do implement that firmware update for this miner. Obviously, I will keep you guys updated as soon as I hear anything. But I'm going back to Ethereum because there's no point wasting rejected shares and power trying to mine something that it can't. So we're going back to Ethereum, we're going back to Flexpool, and then in a later video, I'll update you guys when I hear anything. 